I'm Rosie and I am the Youth Outreach and Engagement Worker at Inspiralba. I got involved in social enterprise because I'd been volunteering in different council organisations for a long time, in different sort of youth participation roles, and then when they wanted to employ me to cover the costs, they split it with Inspiralba. So I work half for social enterprise and half for the council, which is an interesting combination. Hello, I am Sonny Scott and I'm Inspiralba's digital design assistant. I was first involved in social enterprise when volunteering with Inspiralba to provide community engagement support with a wind turbine development in Glenbar, the village I lived in at the time. From there, I was offered a job with Inspiralba where I have been developing my digital and design skills through different projects and opportunities. Hello, I'm Ailsa Higgins and I am the Rural Social Enterprise Coordinator at Inspiralba. I found it particularly interesting uh, being able to work with a cohort of other young people who, you know, we share the same challenges, interests and perspectives. I've also really enjoyed being able to be involved in projects that are in areas like community wealth building and land reform. Um, and I just think it's really of value and meaningful to be involved in a sector that does so much good for people and planet. As someone studying both music and design, I'd love to have a job in the creative industries. Through working with Inspirawa as a digital design assistant, I have gained an insight into what it might be like to work as a designer. I have also learned the value of social enterprise and have found the direct outcome of my work to be fulfilling. This is something that I'd like to continue doing and be part of in the future. What's been difficult is that I didn't really know about social enterprise before I started working for one. So I'm just like constantly learning on the job and then taking that learning and teaching it to other young people, which is sometimes me just trying to stay one step ahead of what their question is going to be. I'd say one of the most challenging things um, is imposter syndrome. Being involved um, and working with people who are a lot older with a lot more experience, sometimes you can feel like you don't quite have the necessary skills um, or knowledge that you're able to contribute effectively. But I think like with most things, the more you do something, the more confident you become. Um, and that's something that myself and colleagues, you know, are working towards. My name is Rachel McPhail and I am the Business and Finance Administrator for Inspiralba. I can speak to you for hours about um, the skills and experiences that I've gained um, through working with social enterprise, doing the modern apprenticeship, having the opportunities provided to me. Uh, I grasped them with both hands and um, learned so much about admin and social enterprises and, and, just, and just general day-to-day -day working. Um, it was, it's invaluable skills that I have earned. This was my first time leading a project independently. So it's been really good to develop the skills in things like working with the other organisations and getting them on board and developing a marketing strategy and creating the training and resources and engagement for the young people. And it's also given me the confidence to know that I can do this kind of thing. So in the future, I'll be more likely to suggest ideas and put myself forward for things. I think it's a theme across the board in social enterprise that they do take a chance on young people and get them involved in social enterprise through schools, through employability placements or modern apprenticeships or all different ranges of opportunities. I know, speaking from a personal point of view, Inspiralba provide um, so many opportunities for young people and they have for, for years and are at the forefront of providing these opportunities for young people. Uh, and investing in our young people and, and getting them involved. I think that similar to what we've heard with Greta Thunberg, it's only fair that young people are involved with the decisions that are going to affect them into the future. So I would like to see more young people being involved in boards um, as trustees. And I think that there is such a gap for training and support for young people to enable them to sit comfortably on boards and be good contributors.